What's up? It's your boy. Back at it again. What's up, Josh? Okay, I just wanted to make this quick uh, thing just to reiterate what we were talking about earlier today in practice and just the big difference this is. So these are two of your throws. The the one on top is um, your uh, just uh, drill, um, just pausing in your power position. And the other one is the only like actual full throw recorded. I, you had better ones than this. Um with better finishes and whatnot, but it, it makes, it drives on the point. Okay. Um, these are just two different angles. Um, but, uh, we're going to just play them, uh, both and let's just see. Okay. Uh, one more time. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's go back. Slow it down. Okay. So, I wish I recorded these at the same angle. Uh, so, but uh, let's start with the top one. All right. So, you do the same thing. I would like your uh, yeah, your your arm, oops, uh, to be up more instead of down. Because I think this causes you to, eh, not really, does it, oh, I would like you to actually open up this left arm a little more, oh my god, <laughs> like more of like Walsh, so by now, your right leg should be like out here. Swinging around. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, okay. Actually, no, your your uh, right leg is fine. Your sweep is fine. But you're way too close off with your left. Uh, into the middle. And that, right there, I should still be able to see your left arm. What this causes is for you not to really get um, a really good hip curl into the middle. Which means um, that you're going to land a little, you're going to go a little too far forward. Okay. Um, I would still, like, um, your left arm, this is nitpicky, but I would still like your left arm a little oops, higher. Okay. Because this could affect. Hmm. Actually, that's a really good position. Oh, but. I think that's why your chest drops. Never mind, that's not a good position. I need your shoulder at that height. At this height? I need that when you wrap, basically. Maybe not that high, but yeah. And then that that um that shoulder needs to keep going up, up. So it needs to go like that. Okay. Right now it's up and it's gonna go down. And that causes you to drop your chest into the front, which causes you to get the release that you're going to get in the, the second video, uh, the one on the bottom, okay? But what I really wanted you to focus on, these those were just technical critiques. I want you to pay attention to the sprint you get now, okay? So you're sprinting, right foot. This also wasn't like the best sprint you could have possibly done. It's way better though, but okay. So look at that. Let's see. Uh, what? Oh. Okay, so your right foot f basically fully grounds there. Okay. 
I would like your left foot to already be like like here by the time in like a in like an almost perfect world. Okay? It should be like here. And then you just need to keep rotating that right. So you're letting even like just standing, just like not even finishing the throw. You're just holding you're just uh keeping the right foot there in place. Like the second left, your left foot touches in the front, you still need to just keep turning the right. Never stop turning the right, okay? <clears throat> um, but let's watch the actual, when you actually throw. Okay? So yeah, you kind of dip your chest a little bit in. I think you're a little more open. It's hard to tell from this angle. No, you're not really. Well, I guess you are. But I just want you to look at this sprint. Okay? Sprint, 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 sprint. You are reaching. A little bit. So, like, your right foot. So. In a perfect world, your left foot would already be off the ground and your right foot would be grounded. And your left foot would be, like, here. Okay. You are just reaching way too far across. I wish I was recording some of your other videos. Uh, I mean, some of your other throws today that were way better than this one. This one wasn't the best. But you still did a way better sprint. So I like the hip curl. And I like, like the pre-turn you get into the middle. But what you need to do is just rotate it a little bit more in so then you land more into the middle. Because what this causes is this is you already shifting and then like just look how open you are uh, when your left foot lands. It's just not like no tension, basically. So then, and then you're already pretty shifted so then it causes you you actually get a really, um, you get a really nice push. I wish I got that push off my right. But the th difference between you and me is that when I'm, when I'm throwing, my chest is up, and I'm back over my right leg a lot more. Okay. Right now, your chest should be facing like that, and your, oops. Uh, and your arm a little more up. Okay? Um, so... And, um... So, okay, you, your sprinting is so much better. But your right foot, you just needs to get under you faster. Okay? But that is a lot better. You would even be even faster and even have more torque if you just got your right foot down faster. But then just look at that. Right foot, uh, let's see, when does it exactly ground? So it grounds there. Okay. Um, see, if you hip curled more, right, oops, uh, right here, then look how close okay maybe not right there okay that's a little too <laughs> uh just like oh like here i know that doesn't seem like that much but it just makes so much more of a difference just because you're just getting more hip uh in your your hip curl into the middle you just get so much more tension and so much more like natural wrap because right now you're forcing like tension and wrap with your left arm. Okay. But I just want to play this one full speed. Because I just want you to understand like how much faster this is. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> and that wasn't even a good throw. Like, like, te technically wise. Besides, um... But just... <sighs> I mean, that's just so much faster.
Okay, but uh, overall, really good job. Now we can start fine-tuning this feeling that you have now of actually sprinting. Okay? Another thing you're still... I think the other reason why you over... Um, you reach reach way long into the middle is because of your sweep. You're leading with your knee. So right now, if you look at someone like Walsh or like Kovacs, their leg would be straight right here. Um, so yours is here. Theirs would still be straight. And then once they get here, they're, they're not point, pointing their toe that way. They're coming in like a soccer kick. So like, um, uh, it's easier to show on the stomp video. So you see how you're like kind of turning it or like already and like leading with the knee and the foot. You need to lead with, um, with the groin. Okay. You need to feel tension in your groin. Like you're going to do like a soccer kick basically. Um, because right now you're getting like a fake, what I would call a fake hip curl where like, it looks like you're hip curling, but you're not really like putting tension in it. So like you are landing with a pre-turn and you are doing it, but it's not really like adding the tension and torque you need. Okay. And part of it is this, you just, you, I mean, that left arm is just cutting you off so much. You can't really do it. Like, you can't really hip curl that well into the middle. Um, God, I just can't get out how good your sprint looks now. It's still not perfect. But, I mean, like, the left, the left, um, the left leg part of the sprint is really good. It's just finding new timing now. I know this is a brand new feeling for you, okay? But overall, really good job. I just wish I just recorded better th a better throw of you. But yeah, um Let's just watch these both um fast motion. Just look how much faster that is than what you usually do, and like much more rhythmic. Like you're getting your your left foot down in on uh, in the front so much better, so much faster, and you're like actually getting out on the shot. But yeah, okay. Um, overall, good job. Uh, and uh, see you tomorrow. Good job.